During the time I have been privileged to serve in Memphis, I have seen many changes. The old outmoded ways have given way to the new and different. The useless methods have fallen by the wayside. Recently, a number of things have happened to me which have caused me to stop and consider some of the wonderful things the Lord has given us. You know, we are living in a marvelous age. Men orbiting the earth, new inventions for the betterment of mankind, new medicines. These are the things we now take for granted, things we didn't have years ago. For instance, I visited the new St. Jude Hospital a while back to see a young friend of mine. I thought as I walked to the door, isn't this a wonderful thing for Memphis? Certainly a change from years gone by. Here is a place where all may come for healing. Later that same day, I was driving by one of the new schools in Memphis, and the same thought occurred to me. Look at this fine new educational building. It also is a dramatic change from the little one-room schoolhouse of years ago. And our churches, they improved. Now we have comfortable, well-lighted churches of which all can be proud. Yes, today we are enjoying the benefits of modern living. Television, new books, new appliances, new foods on our table. The good Lord has indeed given us much to be thankful for. One of the most startling new ideas are our new cemeteries. These are the new ideas which are doing away with the old outmoded ways. Why, I can remember when we had to literally chop our way through brush and undergrowth to get to what was nothing more than an overgrown weed patch. I remember thinking at the time, surely there is a better way. This is why I always enjoy visiting New Park Cemetery. It is beautiful. You know, a great statesman once said, show me the manner in which a nation or community cares for its dead, and I will measure with mathematical exactness the tender mercies of its people, their respect for the laws of the land and their loyalty to high ideals. This is certainly true. You can recognize the kind of people by the way they bear their loved ones. Memphis can be proud of New Park. Recently I was in their offices with a number of Memphis clergymen. Mr. Winston of New Park is explaining to us the new family protection plan. He said it was designed expressly so there would be no other charges at the time of need. I think this is a fine thing. There have been so many widows who have had the unpleasant experience of paying more and more and more. I'm Lila Jones, one of the widows referred to by Dr. Owen. The story I'm going to tell you is not a pretty one but I hope it will prevent some other woman having to go through the heartache and disappointments that I went through. In 1952, my husband was killed in an automobile accident. It was not a pleasant thing to go through, but George, my husband, had prepared pretty well, I thought. 
He had provided as much insurance as we could afford at the time. He had written his will, and we had bought cemetery property. But it was right here that we were fooled. Immediately after George's death, I called to make arrangements and thought all the things at the cemetery had been paid for when we bought the grave spaces. This wasn't true, and I got the greatest shock of my life. First, there was the cost of opening and closing the grave. This actually exceeded the original price of the grave space. And the cemetery in which we had bought grave spaces had become just simply awful looking. Weeds everywhere, no upkeep. You know the kind, way back up in the country. When we had bought the spaces, we thought it would be nice to be buried near his parents and my parents. Well, I don't mind telling you, I was feeling pretty miserable about it. Then right on the top of everything else, I bought a monument. And of course, in my grief, paid six times what George would have wanted me to pay. Oh, not that I wouldn't have done it again, mind you. It's just that if George and I had sat down and worked all this out together, we would have done something entirely different. So now here I am. My husband is laid to rest in a weed-grown cemetery with no provisions made for the care and upkeep. I have spent an excessive amount of money on a monument while under emotional stress. Money that should have gone to raise George's children. And all we have is a grave of sorrows. We can never visit there without remembering all the grief and sorrow attached to it. Well, I told you at the beginning that this was not a pretty story. But I'm happy to say it has a beautiful ending. Last year, I remarried to a wonderful man. He is kind and generous, and we are very much in love. Yesterday, we made our arrangements at a cemetery. What happened to me a few years ago will never, never happen again. I believe these arrangements are the most wonderful things in the world. They have brought the peace of mind to our family, which comes only with knowing that everything has been taken care of. When we began searching for a beautiful cemetery, the first thing we asked was, does your cemetery have perpetual care? When we call New Park Cemetery, we learn that 25% of every dollar at New Park goes into a special perpetual care trust fund. Now this trust fund provides the money for the care and upkeep on the cemetery, and it will provide it forever. This sounded so good to us that we had the memorial counselor call on us to tell us more about New Park. I was very exact and firm in telling him about what we wanted. You know, the part about not having to pay one single cent more at the time of death. And he was very nice. He smiled and told us about their new complete family protection plan. I'll always remember that name. Family Protection Plan, and it is really complete. He explained it in this way. First, the family receives two grave spaces, one for the husband and one for the wife. Now, we immediately ask about the children, but he explained that if we were to lose any children before they were 21 years of age, New Park would bury them free at no extra charge. This also went for all the children we might have in the future. And just between you and me, we are expecting a new baby in the spring. When I ask about the opening and closing of the graves at the time of death, the counselor said that this family protection plan included the opening and closings, even for the children. And the most beautiful part of the plan is that we receive a family monument for our family estate. There will be no other cost Everything is paid for. The counselor told us there is no other cemetery in the entire Mid-South area that has such a plan where everything is completely paid for. I've heard some women say, we can't afford cemetery lots. 
Well, let me tell you from experience, you would have to afford it if it were to happen to you tomorrow. If the same thing happened to you as happened to me, you would have to buy it immediately. And you would have to pay cash. We like the new park plan because we can pay on easy monthly installments. And if anything happens to my husband while we're paying for it, the entire amount remaining to be paid is canceled. We wouldn't owe one cent more. Sometimes, you know, it takes a little courage to sit down and discuss cemetery property. But you'll be glad you did, just as I am. And I pray to God that in time, no woman will ever have to go through my experience. In our modern Christian society, the obligation of the husband to his family is one of the most compelling things known to man. Regardless of what happens, he takes care of his family. He protects them from harm. He provides food and shelter and loving care. This is the right way. This is God's way. It is my firm belief that it is the responsibility of the husband and the father to accept the responsibility of making the necessary arrangements so his family will not be forced into a hasty decision at the time of death and grief. This will eliminate forever the burial of necessity and substitute loving protection for the family which will endure forever. Oh,